Well, g'day curd nerds and welcome to another taste test. This time it's for an Alpine style cheese that I made back in uh, April 2019 and it's called Chabrintz. <laughs> So it's an AOC cheese, it's matured in vac pack. I don't know what its condition is. It's got a little bit of uh, seepage on the outside, but we'll have a look when we open it up. <laughs> I was just um, reading back at some of the comments uh, on the original uh, making video, and uh, there were so many people says, we're so looking forward to 2020 to watch this taste test. Uh, yeah, things have changed a little bit in 2020, as we all know. But, as luck would have it, yes, the Chabrintz is ready to eat. So, let's crack into it in a second, shall we? So, uh, it, when it was matured, as you can see, a little bit of coloration because I left it in the ripening box for a little while. Uh, and uh, that stayed there. So, I got some... Brown mold, nothing to be worried about. Um, I've seen that one I've made Gruyere before, and uh, that sort of mold has appeared. Uh, a little bit of fluorescent yellow, but that was in there before I vacuum packed it. And it has kind of shrunken a little bit, so it's indented uh, in the top of the cheese. Uh, but yeah, we'll crack it open, we'll have a look. So yeah, a bit of liquid there. The cheese is quite moist. Doesn't smell off, it smells cheesy. So I'll put that there. Let's get rid of the bag. And the trusty tea towel. Okay, so it definitely needs a little bit of padding off. Um, it's white because it was sitting in the in the in the way or the seepage, whatever. We'll just pat that off now, so I can handle it. Smells delicious. Smells actually like, well, like a parmesan kinda. But this cheese is normally shaved, not so much as in uh, cut. But yeah, it feels okay. It doesn't feel like um, there's too much wrong with it. Bit more paper towel. When I cut into it, I don't think the colour will be this all the way through, but we'll have a look in a sec. So that's better than what it was. Uh, tea towel. Certainly smells very parmesanish, <laughs> which uh, kind of. Well, we'll see what that looks, looks like anyway. Here goes nothing. Oh, very dense. There we go. Mmm. A little bit of mold infection there on the side, but definitely very moist. The outside paste is totally different than what the inside is. Very crumbly too, as you can see there. And there's actually some crystals in it too. I would expect that after 18 months anyway. A little bit of a sneaky taste off the bat. Mmm. Oh, delicious. That. Really strong. Um, very strong Parmesan sort of flavour. Um, but what I would do is actually a lot of this rind if we cut this off to get to the proper cheese, I'd probably use that for a cheese sauce, all this bit I'm cutting off. But yeah, it's much cleaner. Um, it's a lot messy too. Cut that off. It's kind of, because it's so moist. There you go, that's much better. Goodness me, what a mess. 
I'll do the same for this one because I have to cut it up into um, into quarters and backpack it anyway so I might as well cut this bit off very gooey like cheese so maybe it should have um, had a better natural rind uh, but certainly the cheese flavour is there it's uh, just gonna get rid of all this gunk because that is just it's too damp it's like a like a well it's like paste from a camembert um, but yeah I'm gonna save that put that in a cheese sauce uh, but let me just clean this all up and we'll come back to it shall we Right, yeah. So that's all cleaned up now. Are we recording? Yes, that's all good. <laughs> Excellent. So let's have a look at what this cheese looks like in the middle. So a little bit of in, uh, get rid of that bit of fluff there that's just come on it from the knife. Okay, so as you saw, a little bit of mold infection there into the paste, but you can see that the cheese itself, the rind, even though it's damp, um, is okay so I'm, I'm going to keep that and you can see that the cheese itself is quite firm uh, very firm indeed and you can see it's got a different sort of uh, dark ivory sort of color um, so it's it's perfect except for all the moisture that was trapped in the bag so a little bit disappointed with that but certainly the um, the taste of the cheese is really really good so let's just have another little bit, see if I can cut off a slice, but it's really crumbly. Yeah, there we go. So it's quite hard, crumbly, very crumbly, like a, a like Parmesan uh, or Parmigiano Reggiano. Um, but the flavor, oh, it's absolutely divine. So I should have left it out of the bag for a while, a couple of months before it was ready. Mm. That's gonna be really nice on pasta. It'd be really rich in a fondue as well. Um, it's, it's very strong, so it wouldn't go well on, say, a cracker or anything like that. But definitely your, your cooking cheese, all, all Italian dishes, that sort of stuff. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is close, made close to the Italian border on the Swiss side. So, mmm, very nice. Mmm, good cheese. So although it looks really messy, um, it is definitely tasty and worth making. So probably wouldn't keep it in the vacuum packing for all that time. So maybe the last two months uh, or so, I would take it out of the vacuum packing, if this is hindsight, of course. I would take it out of the vacuum packing and I would put it in a ripening box and let it dry out a bit because that outer rind was just too damp, too moist. It was more like a camembert than, um, than a, a chabrinz. So the inside of the cheese, perfect. The paste is, is very firm, hard, um, like a good uh, parmesan and and it's actually known as uh, the Swiss equivalent of parmesan not made in the same way because this is made using whole milk uh, so it's more like a ooh, Baccio Romano um, than uh, than a parmesan which uses uh, semi skimmed milk um, to be made but the flavor is a lot bolder and fuller than what say uh, Parmigiano Reggiano is Anyway, a good example of a <laughs> homemade cheese that hasn't gone quite right, but delicious nonetheless. So all those people who were waiting for the, they've been waiting 18 months for this taste test, thanks for watching because you got your wish. Um, this cheese has turned out quite nice. I'm impressed. The flavour is, like I said, very bold, very strong, very piquant. Um, or pecant, I don't know how to say that, pronounce it,
but uh, I think it means spicy in Italian. Anyway, fantastic cheese, Shabrinsk, give it a go. Like I said, 18 month maturation time, so um, maybe needs a little bit more care than I gave it, but for one of those cheeses you just uh, make and then uh, vacuum pack and put in the back of the fridge, then yeah, it's, uh, it's absolutely perfect for that. Uh, great little cheese. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this taste test. Um, thanks for watching as always. And if you want to make this cheese, uh, the ingredients and everything are in the Italian cheese kit um, that you can purchase over at littlegreenworkshops.com.au. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so and ring that little bell so you get notified of any cheesy videos that we make here on the channel. Well, thanks for watching, Curd Nerds, and I will see you next time.